Let's do some math for fun. This time I'll show you guys a different style of doing tricks up with this integral right here. Last time we did this with integration by parts. And if you don't watch our video, it's in the description. Check that out. And two of my subscribers, thank you, thank you. They show me how you can also do this with tricks up. So I'll show you guys how to do it as well. To do so, we'll look at this integral. It's the integral on the top, let's square it. So we have x to the 4 times 2, which is x to the 8th power over. On the bottom, we will have 1 plus. Instead of x to the 6th power, let's look at this as x to the 3rd power and then square. And don't forget, we still have to square the denominator. So let's put a parenthesis and then square. And of course, we still have to write down the dx. Once you look at this integral into this form, you see that right here was something square and we have 1 plus something square, right? The punchline is we'll let this x to the third power equals to a trig function and the one that we're going to use is tangent theta so let me write it down right here for you guys we are going to let x to the third power equals to tangent theta this is the punchline and then we have to take this integral into the theta world to do so let's look at this equation and differentiate both sides we will have 3x squared dx equals to the derivative tangent theta is secant squared theta d theta and let's isolate the dx so let's divide both sides by 3x squared dx is equal to secant squared theta d theta over 3x squared and now we'll take this integral into the theta world that's the what we have on the top here we have x to the 8th power over this is 1 plus x to the third power is the tangent theta so let's write that down right here. But then we still have to square the tangent theta right here, right? And then we still have to square the denominator right here, right? And then for the dx, it's all this. So let's write it down. C can square theta, d theta, all over 3x squared. And that's cleaning things up. For example, this is x to the 8, this is x squared. So we can cancel this out and we'll have 6 of the x left, right? And you see that, huh, what's this? Pay attention to this carefully. This is tangent square theta. 1 plus tangent square theta, the inside here by a trig identity, this is just secant square theta, okay? And of course, we still have to square the denominator, all right? And let me just write this down as an one extra step for you guys. First, let me take the 1 over 3 into the front. So we have 1 third. And then this is the integral. On the top, we still have the x to the 6 power. That's not good because x is not allowed in the data world. But it's okay. I'll take care of you guys. Anyways, on the bottom here, this is secant square theta. And you square that. So you have all together secant to a fourth power theta. And then we have two more here. Secant square theta d theta like this, right? Four of this in the denominator, two of this technically on the numerator, you can cancel them out. So you have that square on the denominator only, right? Well, what's x to the sixth power? Well, let's look at this. This is x to the third power is equal to tangent theta. So let's just square both sides. That means x to the sixth power will give us tangent square theta after we square both sides, right? So all in all, this is just tangent square theta on the top. So right here, this is one third integral tangent square theta over on the bottom we only have the secant square theta and then everything is in terms of theta now right it's in the theta world now well now i'm going to integrate this and we're going to do some identity business right here this is still the one third i will write everything in terms of sine and cosine this is going to give us integral tangent square theta let me write yes sine square theta over cosine square theta okay and then you see we have the secant square theta in the denominator one over that right you see this is the same as just cosine square theta so this is the red part and then this is the part in black and you see that this and that cancel each other out and now we just have to integrate sine square theta and to do so we have to use the power reduction formula and let me write this down right here for you guys we still have the one third in the front and then this is pretty much integrating sine square theta it's the same as saying one half times the parentheses one minus cosine of two theta and this is the power reduction formula for sine square theta for integration purpose and we still have the d theta at the end and now you can see that we have one third and we can multiply with one half that's one over six and this part is ready to be integrated so we can just put a parentheses and i'm going to put on the result integration right here all right integral of one in the theta world is just theta and then to integrate cosine we will have plus this sine and the input stays the same because the derivative of the input the derivative two theta is just two but then when we do the integral be sure to divide by the derivative right so we have to multiply by one half and once again the integral of cosine is plus the sign that means the subtraction stays the same okay and we are done with the integration step and now we just have to take this back to the x world 
Well, here we have a double angle. This is sine of 2 theta, but this is an easy fix because this is the same as saying 2 sine theta times cosine theta, and you see that the 1 half and the 2 cancel each other out. However, we still have the 1 over 6 in the front, right? So be sure you distribute the 1 over 6 in the front. And now you see, this is 1 over 6 times theta, and then 1 over 6 times this is just minus, there's no more number right here, right? But then 1 over 6 times this is 1 over 6. And we're looking at this part, sine theta, cosine theta. We are not really done yet, okay? Because once again, take this back to the x world. All right, what's theta? Well, I don't know yet. Let's refer back right here. We know x to a third power is tangent theta. That means theta has to be the inverse tangent of x to the third power, right? You take the inverse tangent on both sides right over there. So right here, we have 1 over 6. Theta is that inverse tangent of x to the third power. That's nice. And then we have the minus, we have the 1 over 6. All right, what's sine theta, cosine theta in terms of the x? Well, let's look at this right here. I'll draw a triangle for you guys. We know tangent theta is equal to x to the third power, but let's look at this as a fraction. So x to the third power over 1. And as you know, this right here, the definition of tangent is the opposite over adjacent. And then right here, I can draw a triangle, right? So let's draw a triangle this way, put the theta here. And you know, right here, uh, this is the angle theta. That means this is the opposite side, that's x to the third power. And then this right here is the adjacent side, it's right here, which is just one. And we have to figure out the hypotenuse right here. And if you're watching this video, you should be badass enough to do this in your head, right? You square this, you square that, that's one square plus x to the 6th power, and you take the square root, that's how you get hypotenuse right here. So this is square root of 1 plus x to the 6th power. All right, now, sine theta, referring to this triangle, is the opposite over this. So we will have x to the 3rd power over the square root of 1 plus x to the 6th power. And for cosine theta, it's the adjacent over that. So we multiply with 1 over that, which is square root of 1 plus x to the 6th power. And I know this is pretty much it, but I wanted to just multiply this and that together. So no, the more square root, right? And finally, we'll have 1 over 6 inverse tangent of x to the 3rd power minus 1 over 6. On the top right here, it's just x to the 3rd power over this right here is just 1 plus x to the 6th power. No more square root with just a parentheses. And if you don't like to have the 1 right here, you can just make it like this, and then you have x to the 3rd power on the top like that. We are all done, so you can put a plus c and box the answer. Hopefully, you guys like this as much as I do. Bye.